guys up front. Um, some of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about might be a little bit hard to hear. Uh, so if at any point you're uncomfortable and you don't want to listen and you want to excuse yourself outside, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you, I promise. So my topic today is about self-defense. And I'm going to be talking to you about self-defense for safety, fitness, and empowerment. To begin, I want to tell you a bit of a startling statistic. Every 107 seconds, an American is sexually assaulted. And this statistic comes from RAIN, which stands for the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. That means every year, there are around 293,000 victims of sexual assault, men and women. It's not specific to gender or race or anything. Um, the New York Times conducted a study this year, I believe, and they saw that many cities in the U.S. have reported a significant increase in violent crime. This is not just rape, this is homicide, um, theft, armed robbery, anything that you can think of where they're physically harming someone. Rates of that have increased just in our country. Imagine the world. To reiterate this, there was a 44% increase in Washington, D.C. Like, that's our national capital. You'd think that that would be a very safe place, but there's a 44% increase. There was a 60% increase in St. Louis, Missouri. Like, who ever hears about Missouri, ever? It's, it seems like a pretty peaceful place. And there was a 76% increase in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So that's pretty startling. And that's only three of all the cities in our country. Now, with times changing and violent crime increasing and technologies evolving and people have more ways to harm each other, it only stands to reason that we can do everything in our power to protect ourselves and the people that we love. And that's why I believe every single person should learn at least some form of self-defense, even the basics. I want for you guys one second. We're going to count to 12. Please out loud with me. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. At least one person is dead because they've been assaulted somewhere in the world. A woman is attacked every three minutes, not just sexual assault, you know, like I said, homicide, theft, burglary, anything. So three minutes from now, a whole bunch of women are in hospitals. They're dead or they're hurt because that's just the statistic. And it's not just females. Guys, you are at a 20% or 22% higher risk of being the victim of a violent crime than females. And three minutes from now, a female's going to get attacked. That's 22% higher for you. Um, I did a survey anonymously, 10 students at HCC. Um, I'm not going to talk about their gender or anything because it's not just limited, like I said, to male and female. I asked them three questions. The first question I asked was, have you ever been assaulted? Physically, sexually, whatever in your mind is the defini definition of assault, has that ever happened to you? Seven out of ten said yes. I asked them, have you ever learned any form of self-defense, even just basic how to throw a punch? And only three out of those ten people said yes. I asked them my final question. Do you have the desire to learn self-defense? Take a class. And seven out of ten of them said yes. And those were not necessarily the people that had been assaulted. So that is self-defense for safety. If you take any sort of class, you know, Krav Maga, Karate, Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu, just learning how to box or kickboxing, whatever, you will learn how to take a hit. So if you do get injured, it's not going to completely you know, have you stuck and frozen and you're not going to be able to deal with it. You'll be able to take injuries, you'll be able to protect yourself, you'll be able to possibly protect people around you, you'll learn about your own weaknesses, your own strengths, and you'll learn when to say no, because sometimes it's better to get an ass whooping and run away than try to be a hero and end up dead. So, we'll stray away from safety for a second, because that's pretty deep, and we'll talk about fitness. Everybody wants to have the hot smoking vod for the beach, right? 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 No. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> so, everyone has tried those fat diets, you know, the paleo diet, or you can only have so many trans fats, or however many calories in a week. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm horrible at math, and I do not have the time to sit there and count each individual calorie I eat, because I like to eat. A lot of people run, or they do yoga, or they pump weights to get swole, whatever. I hate running. I will never run willingly. <laughs> yoga, I don't have the balance for that. Um, I'm terrified of the meatheads that populate the weight rooms in any gym, so that's not really for me. But self-defense 
classes, any type, is so much fun. You know, you have your adrenaline pumping, you're sparring with people, you're not actually getting hurt. You're learning how to defend yourself as well as getting your body in shape and learning ways that you can improve your health and your lifestyle. I go to a specific place called Sidekicks Martial Arts in Lithia, and I'm going to do a lot of shameless promoting here, don't judge me. Now they did a study when they first opened. They started their Krav classes, which stands for Krav Maga, their kickboxing classes, and their adult martial arts classes. Now I take the Krav Maga classes, and the statistic for them is on average you will lose three pounds every week if you take two classes. Just two, one hour class every week on average three pounds. It's pretty good. Uh, kickboxing, they did a study, and people that participated in kickboxing about three times a week, in two weeks they've lost about 15 pounds. That's insane. And this is just fat though, because obviously you're going to gain muscle, so don't look at the scale. You've got to look at your BMI and everything. In the martial arts classes, it's not so much about weight loss as it is connecting your mind with your body. They teach you methods and practices that have been passed down from generation to generation from 2,000 years ago. And if that's not cool to you, you're crazy. Sorry. Like, they teach you history, and they teach you about your body and your mind, and you become one with yourself as well as your surroundings. So that would be the fitness aspect. And if I haven't convinced you to try to get your smoke and hot body yet, we're going to talk about empowerment. Um, because we've shared a lot in this class, and because I trust you guys, I'm going to share a very personal story. Um, in my life, I have been assaulted sexually and physically multiple times, and it took a long time for me to feel confident in myself and strong, because when you have that power robbed from you, you almost feel that you will never be strong enough for anything, ever. Because, like, my god, I can't protect my own body. How? In the world, am I going to protect my family or my friends, or how am I going to be strong enough to go forward and do something when I can't even protect myself? And it took a few failed attempts of taking my life to realize that I'm not going to let these people that have hurt me have this power over me, and I'm going to take it back. So I got into therapy, I started doing fitness, I started getting into crawl, and I learned how to defend myself. And I am nowhere near a master. But I can tell you, if I see any of the people that have hurt me, I know that I can at least hurt them really, really bad, and I can defend myself. Um, so I have a little visual aid that I'll pass out, because if you were looking for a sign to learn how to defend yourself, or get in shape, or try something new, this is your sign. Um, after questions, I'm going to pass out these little flyers, and they talk about the place that I go to, and it's called uh, Sidekicks in Lithia. They offer Krav Maga, they offer martial arts, they do kickboxing, and you don't have to just go here. I'm just promoting because that's where I go. But there's a whole bunch of places, there's hundreds of places just in this area, and they'll teach you any range of things that you might want to learn. Eight minutes have gone by. So with that, I will open up the floor for questions. What's Krav Maga? It is an Israeli fighting technique that they teach their soldiers because in Israel, if you do not win a fight, uh, they cease to exist. So this is a proven method. If hmm? what was the question? What is Krav Maga? So they learn the most effective fighting technique. If they don't win, they're dead, or you know they don't have a country anymore. So it is one of the most effective methods. It's not pretty. It's not meant to look cool. There's not going to be any slow mo videos of it on Vine or whatever. But it will keep you protected, and it has kept me protected. Any other questions? How do you feel about firearms? Firearms? I am a firm believer that everyone has the right to bear arms because, uh, you know, you can say you should limit gun control, whatever, but people are still going to get them because drugs are illegal and people still do drugs. So I think if, uh, if bad people can get them, good people should have them too, as long as they know how to use them. And you actually do, you learn how to disarm people with your hands. We, it's kind of cool um, if, you know, you get drunk and you get into a bar fight. We have goggles that simulate your vision if you're drunk, and you have to spar with people with those goggles on. So it's actually really fun. And then we'll do, have you ever played Dizzy Bat? Yeah. Where you put your head up and then you have to spin around? We'll do that until we're like almost to the point of puking, and then we just go at each other. And it's a lot of fun. It sounds kind of weird, but it's fun. Um, have you ever like put somebody, like knock them out? 
Have I ever knocked someone out? In your training out? or whatever, have you knocked them out? Yes. Um, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Not with a kick to the head, but I kicked this guy in the nuts. Oh. <laughs> he was not happy with me. He does not like to spar with me anymore, but, you know, you get in the zone. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to conclude here. You might believe that classes like karate or martial arts or Krav Maga, because we just learned what that is today, and the like, are violent and they're not worth the cost. But I'd rather spend a few bucks a month and learn how to defend myself than to not know what to do if I get attacked. I'd rather learn from the best than have an injury sustained from the worst. And I would rather know how to defend myself and get the absolute crack, crap <laughs> kicked out of me and end up in a hospital so that I can tell my family the story versus them have to identify my body in the morgue. Wow.